This is a walkthrough video of our M-Series dry polymer preparation system. This specific model is a Model 500 stainless steel. This system operates completely automatically with minimal operator attention. With these switches all in auto, we're gonna call for a batch and make the dry polymer into a solution automatically, usually about every 30 minutes to maybe one hour between cycles. We have selector switches that call for different levels of automation. For example, this selector switch is going to adjust the speed of the screw feeder to maintain a uniform solution strength with changes in dilution water. The polymer pump can be operated with the dial in a speed pot mode just to turn it up or down manually. Otherwise, we've got an auto flop dosing system. This will take a look at the light absorption in the center well or in the pond and make those adjustments automatically. Right here we've got our fiberglass stairs accessing the dry polymer hopper. This specific hopper is a 110 pound hopper. We also offer a 210 or 220 pound hopper which is a four bag hopper and a 1650 pound super sack or big bag hopper. You can see this customer has installed this unit in a shipping container with a knockout gear. We also offer a 40 foot high cube container where we can uh, allow for uh, operator clearance to load this hopper without this caboose up here. We've got a control panel with 480 volt power distribution that gives us automatic, automatic controls of all the features. We've got a booster pump, screw feeder, prop mixer, and a polymer dosing pump. The tank is split up into three chambers. We have our hydraulic shear chamber, our mechanically mixed chamber, and then our drawdown overflow chamber. The solution progressively gets more aged and more prepared to its final state here, where it is removed with the polymer dosing pump out to process. The Batching is dictated by the position of the drawdown chamber. We've got the ultrasonic level transducer. When we hit a low level, we're gonna fill up till we hit a high level. It's gonna pump down and that process will repeat. When we're calling for a batch, we're going to open up our solenoid valve and turn on our booster pump, and that's gonna allow dil clean dilution water to come into the system. The dilution water is distributed through our system through this manifold and these valves. It mixes with the polymer. And again, it's hydraulically sheared in this chamber. It underflows here, where the prop mixer is going to continue to stir the solution. And then it will be pumped off the process at the end.